Happening today, the ride for missing children making its return to the capital region. Bikers traveling 100 miles to spread a message of safety to kids and to support those whose loved ones have gone missing. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno speaking with participants who explain what this ride means to them. 100 miles to raise money and awareness for the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. That's what these riders are bicycling for, and we followed them along their journey. It started at the Gilderland YMCA with an opening ceremony where it was revealed that this year's ride is in honor of Audrey May Heron, a Catskill woman who went missing 20 years ago. Other local missing people being remembered today, including Craig Freer and Suzanne Lyle, who was a student at UAlbany in 1998 when she disappeared. Her cousin, Sean Barry, has been riding in her honor for years. What I think it means to all these people that are riding is to tell the people who have uh, missing pe children that they're not alone. Uh, there, there's a support network for them. There's a group of people that care about them. Um, and uh, it also is a time to reflect on the people who are missing. Like I think about my cousin a lot while during the ride. Barry's bike is painted pink and blue, the colors of the ride, with Suzanne's name written on the side. I was really taken by the camaraderie and the support of this kind of event. And I took, had an old bike and I decided I wanted to dedicate a bike to this ride. And the rider's making seven stops today at local schools, reaching over 2,000 students with the message of staying safe in their everyday life and online. We followed them to Voorheesville and Bethlehem. The money raised from today's ride going towards that National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's continued investigations on active cases and providing safety education programs to schools, parents, and community organizations. And they're back off to their next school. They're visiting a few more throughout the day, and then they'll be finishing with the closing ceremonies at the YMCA. I'm reporting in Bethlehem. Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.